Here you go, Lieutenant Governor. Thanks, Bob. I'll take it from here. Yes, sir. Are you going to cooperate now? We agreed I'd stay and do No, you agreed. The last thing we need is an amateur up there jeopardizing the operation. An amateur? At least I was actually searching instead of trying to sleep with someone's wife. Mom, what's going on? Nothing, sweetheart. You know what? As long as you were here safe, warm, and cozy in this house, absolutely nothing is wrong. Actually, I'm the total opposite of that because Aunt Bessie's messing everything up. I'm gonna go see Jack. No! Look, it'll He's not take going a anywhere! Just a couple of minutes, all right? You are really freaking me out right now. Where is Walker? Did you guys get in a fight? No, sweetheart. Everything is fine with Walker. He's out actually looking for Aunt Dorian and Vicky. We whoa, whoa, the whoa, blizzard. wait. Nobody can find Aunt Dorian and Aunt Vicky? No, they haven't found them yet. Not yet. Dorian? Dorian, can you hear me? Dorian? Dorian, are you okay? Dorian, for God's sake, talk to me. Talk to me, Dorian. Wake up. I'm right here. My hand is here. I can't reach you, but my hand is here. No. Where, Dorian, where am I? Dorian, listen. I, you, you, don't die. Oh, Lord. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. no. Dorian, please don't panic. I'm going to get you out. I'm trapped in here. No, you're not trapped. I'm going to get you out. I promise please, you. Take please, my hand. Please, please. No, Dorian. I'm so frightened. I'm afraid I'm going to... Look, don't God, Please calm here. down. Please. Oh, God, it's my worst nightmare. Dorian, I will get I'm you out. Listen to me. I'm going to alive. I'm going to... Dorian, die. listen. Listen to me. I am going to get you out. You are not trapped. I'm not going to let you die. Do you hear me? Dorian, calm down. I will... You know what? Only a degenerate like you would even believe that Blair and I were thinking about anything except finding my mom and Dory. And that's why you were in bed together? We were on a couch. I had a fever. She was trying to... Go to hell. I don't have to give you an explanation. I'll tell you one thing. I was thinking about more than just the search. I was thinking about telling Blair that she was married to Todd Manning. Lieutenant Governor? Yeah. Your wife's on the phone? Uh, tell her I'll call her back when I have a minute, okay? <laughs> yeah, I bet you'd take that call if it were Blair. If it was Blair, she'd be looking for you. She loves you. <laughs> I don't know why. But, you know, if she knew that you were here in a jealous rage, accusing her of cheating, how do you think she'd feel? And Walker will find them. Positive. And everything will be okay. Positive. But all the Aunt Becky face and that. Okay, okay, you know, you know what? I'm gonna go check on your little brother. Wait, he's sleeping. What's your minutes. check? Two minutes, sweetie. Two minutes. Mom, Aunt Becky's gonna stiff me from her money. You didn't even know about that money a month ago. Stop. What's your point? You had a horrible, awful, dreadful, horrible father. You said horrible twice. I'm giving my money to that fine, upstanding young Paul Kramer. Oh, bag. New bag. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy? Yep. I'm Todd. Star's known all along. You mad? Well, how could I be? I love you, Todd. Oh, I am so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah, me too. Well, you know, I'm about as happy as I can get. Oh, no, 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 please, Princess. No, I'll fetch the door for you. Please, don't get up. I wouldn't want you to break a nail. Hi. Hi, Kelly. I know Kevin is tied up with the rescue team and everything, but I haven't been able to get a hold of him since you and I got back. Have you 
her. No, no, and, you know, Walker's with him, and why would Kevin call me? I mean, you'd, you'd be the first person he would call. I mean, not your cousin, right? Good. Yes. You're here. Yes. Dorian? Missing. Still? Oh, so irresponsible. Star, go and fetch your cousin, Paul. Go fetch him yourself. Star. And Betsy, what's going on? Hmm? And Betsy. I have revised my will. My lawyer, Marine Donaher. Miss Donaher has drafted it, and you will all witness it. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Mom. She's giving away her money to Paul. Will someone silence this unbearable child? Hey! You're the one that needs to be silenced. You got that? And don't talk to my daughter like that. Just you can keep your money, because all we care about right now is finding Vicky and Dorian. I swear to you on my life, I'm going to get you out of here, okay? I'm not going to let you die. I'm just not going to do that. I need you to help me, though. Talk to me, okay? Are you... What? What? Are you in any pain? Is anything broken, do you think? Your legs? Your arms? Does your head hurt? I'm fine, Vicky. I'm fine. Considering a mountain is just falling in on top of me, I'm just Danny, except that I'm buried in this dark, airless... No, 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 there's a lot of air. Earth. Look at this, it's all air, Dorian. I'm going to get you out, and I have plenty of time to do it. Now, listen, can you move anything at all? I can. Okay, I can. all right, just stay there. I'll be right go back. Anywhere, but I can... You have to breathe, Dorian. Just keep breathing. Deep, deep breaths. Calm. All the way from the bottom of your lungs, okay? Okay. No, no, no. Uh, no. Don't, don't, don't leave. I'm not don't leaving. I'm right here. Good to know I, you're, you're outside. I know. I'm not and going you, anywhere, I promise you. You can move. You can move. Where yes. You are. I'm going to try and move some of these big rocks, okay? Please don't leave. I only have one arm to do it, so I'm going to need this hand. Yes, your arm, your arm. Dorian, How's your arm? just be calm. I'm right here, okay. and I promise you I'm not leaving you. Okay, okay. All right? Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm letting you arm your hand. Okay, and I'm right here. I got it. Okay? I just need my... I believe you. My arm, okay? I I'm going to try to move this... Rock. I'm still here. Don't worry about it. It's coming. It's moving. It, it's... Okay. Stand back, please. Yes, I'm right here. I'm right here, okay? I'm right here. You must think I am so, so... If this stupid claustrophobia just was thinking so stupid and No, weak. no, I don't think that at all. Believe me. Just, I've been like this ever since I can remember, so... I know that. I know something oh, terrible happened to you oh. when you were a child. Oh, when I was a child, about my whole childhood. Oh, God. <laughs> can you talk about it, Dorian? <laughs> can you talk about it, Dorian? I know, I know, sometimes you can get talking and things don't get so... My mother, you know, used, used to uh, beat us all. <laughs> I mean, my sister's daddy and Melinda would cry, and I was... I wouldn't, I just wouldn't. It just upset me so much when they would that I'd, sometimes if something was wrong and my mother was particularly crazy, I'd say, I did it, I did it, just so that she wouldn't go after Melinda and Addy and then, you know, just lock me up in this, this garden shed that smelled of compost and, and, and mold and stuff. But, when she'd let me out, I wouldn't give her the satisfaction. No, I'd look her straight in the eye. And, and, and... She'd say, you're so defiant. Gee, I'll teach you, so... One time... She took me up into the attic. Just... I've got your number, Missy. And she put me inside a... A trunk. And... I could barely fit into it. She slammed the lid down, and I heard the latches. And then she left me up there in the attic. How did, how did you get out? I don't know. Come on, Dorian. I don't know. You got out. How did you get out, Dorian? 
Tell me how you got out. Think. Try and think. Please. You got out. I did. Yes, you I, did. I, I remembered that I had a barrette in my hair, and I, I, I took it out, and I just, I must have been so hysterical. I thought I could pry the hinges off from the inside, and of course, I could barely reach it, and the barrette broke, and then suddenly there was light. This beautiful, wonderful light. And I thought, oh, well, this is what heaven looks like. <laughs> Only then I saw my sisters, my sisters' faces, Melinda and Addie, and they had come to rescue me. Isn't that incredible? They rescued me, and it was very great, because we all got punished. You know something? It's probably very, very good that you remembered it now, because it just will remind you that you can get out of anything. You are strong and you're tough. And no matter how horrible the situation is, you can get out. Okay? Now, you are going to be strong and I am going to get you out. You do what you want with your money, Aunt Betsy. The people we love are in trouble. And your money is not going to fix that. <laughs> My limo is packed. I am as eager to get out of this madhouse as you are to be rid of me. However, I will not leave until I do what I came for. Mm. Oh, look, I'll go see if Paul's around. Yeah. Mom? Hmm? We can't let old baggy face give the money to Paul. Stop, please. Just... Hey, Blair. I, I didn't know you were back. Well, she is. I got an urgent message. Is there a word on Dorian? Kelly! Yeah. Found Paul! Oh. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Aunt Betsy has some news. Hey. Okay. I think it's best if you stay out here. I'll fill you in on everything, okay? You just stay here. All right, Aunt Betsy, I guess you have something that you want to say? Since coming to Landview, I have met with nothing but pig-headed resistance from insolent and rude relatives. My only allegedly sane niece ran off. <laughs> Crashed into the side of a mountain. Okay, hey, you okay, don't even you know really, Dorian. You don't know her. I know this. The only person who's shown me any consideration is a relative who knew all along that he was not, didn't meet the criterion for my heir, and therefore there wasn't going to be any advantage in bootlicking. You know, ma'am, I, I think you're being a little too hasty, you know? These are good people. Thank you. Bull. Now, I've decided. Well, there was a brief moment when... when I thought that young Star might be a suitable, being female and unmarried. Sadly, I have since learned that her father a vile, was a violent felon and a convicted rapist. I cannot, in good conscience, leave money to the demon seed of that demon Excuse seed. me, Aunt Betsy, but didn't I make it perfectly clear about your opinions of my daughter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paul, I have investigated your past. I'm satisfied that you've never been married. And I'd better not find out otherwise in this life or the next. Marriage, either prior to or subsequent to this will, would void the inheritance. You'd forfeit every last time. Yeah, I'm not the marrying kind, ma'am. Yes, the codicil. It's very specific. My death, it will not release you from the terms of the agreement. So you're saying that... You seem to be a decent man. And a patriot. You are my sole beneficiary. What? I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say. I, well, I do. I have a few things that I would like to say about the person 
that you called a demon that spawned my daughter? Todd is a better person than you, any old malicious old money-pinching bag will ever be. You tell him, Mom. Kid's starting from searching for Vicky. Oh, I can and I will. I'll just tell the state trooper to hold you. Don't be an idiot. You need my help to find her. Oh, what about Dorian? I thought you'd be more concerned about I'm his wife's missing aunt. about both of them. You know what? I don't owe you any explanations. Oh, come on, Todd. I want to hear you say that the reason you're searching for my mom is because you're God, her bastard brother. I'm brother. so sick of your holier-than-thou attitude. What's the matter? You can't own up to the truth? Oh, Kevin, you can't addition to the truth. My God, what a revelation. Hey, I have always been honest about who I am and what I've done. Obviously, you can't say the same. Now, come on. Say it. Say this to your Uncle Todd. God, come on, just like me. in college days, you gotta rat me out. You know that? You gotta cut me Just say it! Fine, I'm Todd! Now, can we go find Vicky, please? I'm sorry. I can't believe I fell apart like that. Don't be stupid. No, no, no. What stupid is my telling you all these stories about my miserable childhood? Where are the violins when you really kneel? No, 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 Dorian. No, no, no. Come on. You, you must be feeling a bit better, right? Yes, but... Okay. Just, just... Don't go away. No, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. What I want to do is just try and move uh, a, another couple of these rocks, okay? I, the thing is, I need my hand to do it, all right? Because the other hand is brilliantly wrapped up by you. Oh. So, it, it, could you be all right if I just take my hand away for a minute? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You know, what you just said, the story you told me, it might be a very a good thing you did, you know, a... Uh, some sort of step forward for you psychologically, you know, but, but your claustrophobia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? What? You are such a Pollyanna! <laughs> <laughs> Dorian. <laughs> Sorry. It's not real, you know, it's just my reputation. Oh. <laughs> What's the truth? You and I both know that I have been to hell and back a whole bunch of times. And I know perfectly well that life can be so full of darkness and misery. But you know what? It doesn't make the good any less wonderful. And I think what you have just done for yourself is something really Good. My sisters, Helen and Addie, have been in and out of mental institutions all their lives. My, my daughter Cassie is so fragile and complicated, and Blair and Kelly, I worry about them all the time. I mean, you know, the Kramer women, we call her. I mean, my mother was a monster. Your mother and my father. But you know something? They're the people who gave birth to us and raised us. And in spite of it all, Dorian, we came out okay. Where do you get your strength? <laughs> I don't know. Where do you get your confidence? No. <laughs> That's just bravado. It's a facade made of cardboard and... Full of holes. I don't believe there's a single bit of you that's cardboard. And as for holes, hell, I've plugged mine up with a lot of different personalities. But that's over. All those altars. Can't say I'm gonna miss any of them, uh -huh. especially not Tommy. I'm sorry. I'm just glad I finally got the help I needed, thank God. But you know, to this day, I'm absolutely devastated when I remember what my father did to me. And you know what's worse? He never, ever, ever admitted it. Even when I had another chance and I saw him again, he never owned up to it. Not to his dying breath would he own up to it. Would it have made a difference? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it would have made all the difference. Never mind. He's 
dead. And it's, uh... It's over. It's gone. Maybe not. No matter what you have faced in your long, long life, Aunt Betsy, and no matter what you will face for the rest of it, you will never come close to what Todd had to endure and overcome. Mm -hmm. He at least tried to be a good man, and you know what? He became one, and he built a family that he loved, loved deeply, and he risked his life over and over again to protect us. Give it to the mom. You know what? He made some mistakes. He made a lot of terrible mistakes. But Todd is gone. And I don't want to hear another nasty word out of your mouth about him. Do you hear me? That's very nice. Like mother. Like daughter. Aren't we done yet? Listen to me, Aunt Betsy. Todd died a lot younger than you ever will. But he lived his life with passion, courage, and more feeling than you ever will until you live to see the next millennium. Wait for the others. I don't want to wait for them. It's not their sister who's trapped. I, mean, I think the cave is over there. Uh, no, come on, let's wait, man. It's search and rescue. Last thing we need to do is stop around up there and cause another avalanche. You okay? Vicky, do you remember those those papers of your father's that I? Found at Landfair. Oh, the ones that Mitch hid. Yeah. The ones that I took with me when <laughs> you threw me out. Okay. What about them? There was something um, very special amongst the papers that I never told anybody about. What? It was. A letter to you from your father. From my father? In it. He... apologizes. He... confesses to everything. He, he admitted it? Yes. Everything that happened in your bedroom. And... Um, wh where's the letter? I, I mean, I'd, I'd really like, I'd love to see that. I, I need to know that. Vicky, this is really, um, well, it was in inexcusable of me and petty and, oh, but, um, at the time I was so I, because you had thrown me out of Landfair again, and... What'd you do, Dorian? I'm so sorry, but... I burned the letter. You made it up. There was no letter. You didn't have to make that up, you know. I swear I didn't make it up. No, there really was a letter, and it, it's exactly what you, you said you, you wished for. He begged for forgiveness. He was remorseful and confessed to everything. Do you want me to quote you details? No, no, no. Dorian, is it really, really true? Yes, Vicky. Well, we're getting you out bit by bit here. You're gonna have to try and, I don't know, wriggle your way up so that I'm gonna move these rocks and you're going to have to climb over these, okay? Because we can't move this one. Anything to get out of here. Okay. No problem. Tell me something, though, in the meantime. What do you think it would take to make you 
really secure. Is this a game or a serious question? No, this is a serious question. Money. Oh, Money. come on. That's I said it's a serious, serious question. That's it. That's it. That's the answer. Money and lots of it. You know what? We both know that material things do not make you secure. That has to come from inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that too. But if I had lots and lots of money, then I would know that I would always be able to take care of my family. The way that nobody ever took care of you. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. But I'll tell you, I, I, have, I, have, I have a pretty good shot at it. Because there's, there's my uh, Aunt Betsy, you know, my father's sister. And um, she's got this will where she's going to... Um, I, $30 million. She's going to leave one of us. Of course. <laughs> it's spread, you know. It's, it's impossible because she's, she's got a heart of stone and she's got a, a list of requirements for the air that you just wouldn't believe. Star doesn't fulfill. Uh, no, 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 no. The, the, no, no, because you see, Star is carrying the blood of your dear, not so departed brother Todd. You know what you need? <laughs> You need a long-lost daughter that you never knew you had to drop in on your doorstep, just like Natalie did. That's it. <laughs> Look, I want to find my mother as much as you do, but I'm trying to stay rational here. The searchers know these mountains. They know how to handle an avalanche. Fine, I'll see you back here. Then. This is not your call. Play off me. Listen to me, Tom. Now, you listen to... You listen to me. Dickie's probably scared half to death out there. Well, we're sitting there doing nothing. And if you call me Todd again, I swear, I'm gonna kick your ass. Well, then stop pretending to be someone else. I am someone else. You know what? If whatever finds out that you lied to her again, you know what she's gonna do? You're amazing. You know that? Your mother could be dying out there right now, and all you could care about is getting back to Lambview so you can tell Blair your big news. He's Todd. Leave him. I don't know where Star is. You seen her? No, um... You know what? What? I will bet that she's letting the air out of Aunt Betsy's mm -hmm. limo tires right now. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. You know what? I'll what? help you find her before she finds a tire iron and starts smashing her windshield. Where is Aunt Betsy? Oh, I don't know. Probably saying goodbye to your new, extremely rich brother. Hmm? Yeah. I probably should have been nicer to him, huh? Yeah. You know, Aunt Betsy, I, I don't know how to thank you. I, I won't disappoint you. Not disappointment. It's disinheritance. You so much as apply for a marriage license. You, you've made that pretty clear. <laughs> Think about how it would feel to lose $30 million. Think about that on a daily basis. That'll keep you out of the chapel. <laughs> well, I don't think I've ever met uh, a woman as admirable and as principled as you, ma'am, so... I hope to get to know you better. You may visit me in Columbus if you wish. You'd better not take too long. I will. I will. <laughs> Don't see me out to the limo. Can't bear maudlin farewells. <sighs> You are out. You're out. There Thank you go. You. Thank you. Oh, you know what? It was my pleasure. <laughs> so what did you mean before when you said that's it? What's it, huh? Oh, um, I was just thinking of a possible solution to uh, an impossible problem. Oh, Dorian, you never give up. Look, there's light. Look, Dorian. Yes, there is. There's light. Look! Look, there is light! There is light coming through a crack in the rock! There's light! Uh. Congratulations, Pat.
Paul? What, you just waltz right into the family? Out of the blue, before we have a chance to find out if you're allergic to strawberries or even can speak fluent French, and you collect $30 million. You ace out my mother's generation, my generation, and my daughter's. Mm. You know, I'm sorry for the way Aunt Betsy treated Star. I, I, I thought it was shocking. Mm. That's mighty big of you. Well, I also respect what you said about your late husband. I mean, even if Aunt Betsy okay, were right about... you know about... what? You can stop talking now. Because I'm not buying any of it. What do you mean? Get Todd Manning died a well-deserved death at the hands of that madman. He did not! He's alive! Star! Star, do not talk that way, okay? Imagine how upset it would make your mother and how bad it would make Walker feel. Now, your mother was looking for you. Why don't you go find her? That child kicked me. Oh. He's a damn strong little beast. Does, does Star know that Walker is Todd? Hey, the only reason that I didn't tell Blair is because I thought I'd give you a chance to be a man for once. Gee, Cap, I don't think anyone can preach about being a man. Gee, Todd, I didn't know I had to rape someone to be a man. Marty Saybrook, do you remember her, huh? Yeah, I remember her. And I've done nothing but try to change since then. But what have you done? Huh? What have you done to try to become more honest and decent? Nothing. You're too busy trying to steal my wife. You better tell her. Soon. It's your last chance. You won't tell her. You know what? It's not because of what you know about my wife in Houston. That's not what it is. The only reason I haven't told Blair is because I care about her. Oh. Because I don't want her hurt. Right. That, you know what? I'm going to find Do you. Do you really want the world to know your wife is a whore? hole is really very small. I tell you what, if you can climb out of that little pinhole, I promise you, I'll follow you. Hmm? Dorian, we have dynamite, <laughs> courtesy of our friend, Mr. Convict. We're going to plug that hole with the dynamite and make it bigger. Really? Who's going to have the honor of lighting it? Well, I mean, obviously, we have to make a fuse. Well, I've always had a rather short fuse, so you win. Ha-ha. Oh, I got it. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. We're gonna use the money. We're gonna make origami money fuse. Oh, you with the money. I mean, real... Oh, I've just had a glimpse into the future. Yes, we're in the 24th century, and a team of archaeologists has just entered this cave and found our bones in it. Are you going to help me with this or not? <laughs> you don't care how you spend my money, do you? <laughs> you know what? You got your wish. You've got money to burn. <laughs> You kicked Aunt Betsy. Oh. Really, really, really hard. <laughs> Are you going to send me to bed without supper? Star. What? I really want that $30 million. I know you do. You know what I think? I think Aunt Betsy used to be young. You do? Mm -hmm. A long, 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 long time ago when she was nice. Before she got the money, before she turned into that mean old witch that you just kicked as hard as you could out there. So, where did Flyboy go? Paul? I don't know. I think maybe I could trick him into making him feel guilty for this. And then he'll give me all of his money. Okay, half of his money. I think he's already bonded with that money. But you know what, hey, if you feel that you can do that and you need to do that, you go ahead. Well, I do feel it. Okay. And that will do. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. Phew. She is gone. My goodness. Now, if we could only hear from Vicky and Dorian, I think we'd be okay. Yeah. Hey, um, you really got worked up when you talked about Todd. You're so in love with them, aren't you? 
I think that I will always love the memory of Todd. You know, the good stuff. But I love Walker. <laughs> yeah, you say that now? What do you mean? Nothing. No, never mind. Nothing. Never mind, never mind. What are you You always what? do that when you're dying to tell me something. What? I just... What? What were you doing in that cabin with Kevin? Well, what do you think, Kelly? Come on, say it. I know you're dying to ask me. Ask me. be set for something like this, but you know what? If anybody can, you can. Fine, I'm set. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute, P please. I, what? I, I, just, just hold my hand, would you please? I'm Dorian. scared. No, really, I'm feeling very insecure. Just let me have your hand. Dorian, there's only one hand, and it's attached to a fractured arm. I'll do the match. Here you go. On the next One Life to Live. What do you think will happen when you die? We're finally free to be together. I can't even imagine making love with you. You're not gonna have to imagine. You're so young. You sure you wanna do this? Fine! 